Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a bit of a viewer request type of video. Um, so want to say hi and hugs to Lynette. Lynette um, requested that I do something with paint chips. Um, she sent me some of these wonderful, uh, wonderful packets or whatever you would call them, brochures of uh, paint chips and said, so what are you going to do with them? <laughs> I said, I don't know. <laughs> but we're going to we're going to figure something out. So then I have some other random paint chips that I've just had in my stash forever that I just grabbed along the way. So yeah, so let's let's play with these a little bit. Um and seriously have no idea what I'm going to do, but we're just going to we're going to see what we see what we see. So I'm looking at this one. A lot of these colors are Ooh, that's nice. I like the, you know me, I like the teals and stuff. The purple's nice too. Um, but so my first thought was with these is um I've got a couple of these things made up, which are just um they're they were cut from the paper collage, you know, the the roll or whatever. So um this one, no, because I like what's on it. But what I was thinking is about doing something. I just don't know if this one is one I want to use for this. Um, yeah, I'm going to make one because I, I need to start from scratch, I think. So I'm going to grab one of my big papers and they are, I think they're nine inches. So I want it to be like eight and a half. So I'm actually gonna cut this off at about right here. And I did bring over my, um, I have a pile of all of my uh, stuff, my uh, blah, blah, blah. digitals, my digitals. So let's do, I'm going to just go right to there, trying to make it straight-ish. It's going to be a wide belly band and or a flip. It could be a flip too. Okay, just to save time, um, I'm going to just, let's see, belly band or flip. We don't know, so I'm going to back it. So I'm just going to put this on. I'm not going to collage the back or anything. Once again, probably don't need to get to the edges because I am going to sew it. But, um, but yeah, that was such a great idea, Lynette, because, um, you know, I've had these in my stash and just some of them just haven't done anything with. And so always fun to have a new project. I think I'd like to tear that if I can find my ruler, which is right here. Okay, we'll keep that. We might need that on something else. Okay, and then I'm going to pick a color. This one's very pretty. It's kind of, uh, what do I want to say? It's shimmery. Okay, pulled it out. <laughs> okay, so I'm deciding. I think what I want to do is, first of all, I'm going to cut this off. Right there. Cut it off right here. Is varnished. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just going to play and see. Okay. So, but I do want to kind of get papers that look good with that. Um, 
These are from my pal, um, Jesse at, ooh, that's kind of nice, Vintage um, Studio 717. Let's use a bit of this one. Someone suggested in one of my comments that I take a day and tear off all these white things. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen because I don't always know that I want them torn. Sometimes I might want them cut. So, you know. And it only takes a second. So, I'm organized, but I'm not that organized. <laughs> Let's just say. Just not quite that organized. Okay. I really like that part. But I don't want the whole thing to be... Okay. So I think I'm going to tear it off the width and I'll have some scrappage. And then I just am not feeling like about some of this. Yeah, let's do some of this. Not exactly sure how to get it on there. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing and it's so much fun. <laughs> Sometimes it's just like, you know, sometimes just picking an item and working with it can be just ever so much fun. I'm going to put something right there. Okay. Alrighty then. Here we go, Sports Sands. Oops. Got my, got myself there. So we just got back from taking Jimmy Joe on a walk. It was lovely. And we were actually coming back in our house and one of our neighbors who I have no idea where they live, but they were out walking and they walked by and she said, oh my gosh, your dog is so cute. And they had two dogs. Um, I think their dogs might have been Australian Shepherds, which are super cute dogs too. And she was like, she was like, we're watching him grow up and he's so cute. So it's like, oh, the only thing is I might want to go this way. Because I think I'm going to put my, yeah, because I think I'm going to put this over on that side. Um. So anyway, that was sweet, she said. She said, we're just watching him grow up, and he's so cute. And I said, yeah, he's getting big. <laughs> he is getting big. No doubt about it. Okay, so then right there, I know what I want, which is... I love this German book page. I really love it. So... just gonna tear us a bit of it it's gonna be the last of it too I just had two pages got it in happy mail from somebody oh and it's so appreciated because it's so cool I love the font of it okay all right so I think I'm just going to put a little bit right here. So I think I'll do this 
And then I'm going to just do a little bit like that. Alrighty, let's get that on there. Okay, so that was a lot of collaging to, to do our little, little thing here. This one's, it's slick, but it's not very heavy, so I'm hoping the glue stick will work. If not, we can always art glitter glue it. Okay, now I would sew around that, and I feel like it needs a focal point. This is not really a focal point. It's more like just another piece on there, isn't it? So I'm almost thinking I have to move my light slightly to get to it. I'm going to move a couple things. I have some bigger flowers in here. So I don't know what exactly bigger flowers, but they're not skinny enough. This one is, this blue one. Oh, isn't that kind of pretty? If I turn it that way, I don't cover up as much of the... Oh, I think I like that. I've been looking for a spot for that flower. You've seen that flower before. Okay, I am going to give it a little, just a little bit. Look, I got a new ink pad, a new vintage photo. I totally thought it was a big one, and it was one of these itty-bitty ones. So I was very sad <laughs> when it came in the mail. I was like, oh, I didn't look close enough. I, I, I should have realized because it wasn't very expensive, but I didn't. I was just so excited to get a new one so I'll just use this one up until I am going to try the uh squirting flower or squirting flower squirting water on the um on the pad too though a lot of people said to try that so I'm going to try that on my big pad but I thought oh well I bought this little one I guess I better use it <laughs> just like oh geez Gail I'm my own worst enemy most days Okay, so let's pop this on there. Like so. Gosh, excuse me if you can hear all that. That's James Joseph. He just came in from outside and is attacking his bone with vigor on the wood floors. It sounds like a herd of elephants coming through. Oh my goodness, Jimmy Joe. He is something else, that guy. Okay, so then I want a label up here of some sort that has yet to be determined. Um, I'm just gonna look in here for fun. No. If I look in there, we're going to be all day because there's no labels in there. <laughs> oh, man. I was thinking of these ones of Deb from Artsology. It's a perfect size. Yeah, that's it. Right there. Just grab and go, this is. Okay, so... I can get crazy with my oh look at a new ink paddle dude jeez oh Jimmy Joe seriously you guys he sounds like he's coming through the roof he really does oh my gosh this is just glorious having a new ink pad Mike's up there going, 
Yep, and you're downstairs, and I'm dealing with this on my own. Oh, yep, that's, I, well, I'm going to sew that down, but it still might need a little art glitter glue because the um, edges kind of want to come up. I'm going to turn on my sewing machine because I really kind of want to see what this looks like all sewn. Okay. Woohoo. Woohoo, woohoo. All right, so now, oh, this guy is not a label. Oh my gosh, and that shiny behind, that is so cool, okay. Uh, let's see, I think I can move my sewing machine over so you guys can sew with me, but let's just give this a little once around. Oops, gosh, lead foot went right off my card. <laughs> a happy little piece. Oh, yikes. Okay. Had to lift it up and over my book there. Okay. So, I need a little bit of art glitter glue, especially where it's on the shiny here. And then I noticed a little bit down here where I probably just didn't get enough glue. Okay, super cute, either belly band or flip, or it could be a pocket too, you know, on the side of a page, like, like so. Yeah, I think it'll make a nice flip out. That is fun. That is fun. So there's one example. 20 minutes is all that took me, but look at how shiny that is and how fun that is behind. Oh, I just am tickled to death with that. Okay, so another idea I had. Oh, these are my tones. I'm loving these ones. Oh, look at that one. That's an Easter one. Um, pastel Pantone. Lovely. Okay, well, let's work with a... Let's work with a pink. Ooh, I don't know if that one's going to come out. Oh, I can't get it. I'm going to have to cut it. Oh, does it? Looks like these are, uh, what do you call it? Uh, perforated. Okay, well, I had to cut that. But that's okay. I'm just going to cut it off right at the bottom here. Oh, got more than one. Okay, they, okie dokie then. Um, what I was thinking with these, these are, uh, what, what do I want to say? Not as thick. They're more of a matte finish. And I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to back it. Just gonna pop it on. And back it. Like so. Okay. 
And then I'm just going to make a tag out of this one, I think. I think. Go ahead and cut that because even though that's tiny scraps, sometimes you need tiny scraps. And then I'm just going to make it into a tag shape. Like so, and then we're going to decorate it somehow. I want to leave the colors shining through. Okay, we better ink and think because I have no plan. I'm thinking these could be ni a, a nice background for a, a digital tag, you know, to just put in the background. Um, of course, you could do the flower or bird and label, butterfly, that kind of stuff. But I have another idea. And I think I grabbed what I need when I grab stuff off my other table. So let me just take a look, see here. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Talk much stuff. So crazy, guys. I always need stuff that's over there. When I've been playing over there. Okay, so what I'm thinking, let me just find them. Okay, I'm thinking this kit of my friend Carrie the Crafter, I think one of the small tags, maybe this one, let's cut this one out. Could be fun to maybe do a tag on tag type of thing or something. I don't know. Just playing. Just playing in the craft room, talking to my pals. <clears throat> okay. I need one of the bigger ones. I don't know. Or this idea is just not going to work at all. How about this one? I want one with a little more pink on it. That one. This one. Carrie, I love these. I've had more fun playing in different ways with your tags. I had them over on my desk. I was going to do fussy cutting while watching other people's videos and I've just been so busy making journals and stuff that I just haven't gotten that done. Okay, what I'm thinking is could I skinny up that tag I'm going to cut it right there. Oh, my cutter's on the other side of the table, too. Son of a gun. Okay, well, we'll eyeball it. I didn't do too bad, I don't think. Okay. No. I need this. Right. Let's just do it this way. Because I want it to be the same. Ish. Okay. Yeah, that's more what I had in my brain. Okay. 
this is not to be wasted. This will be a good um, collage piece. We'll do something else with that little tag, but I do kind of like this idea of having the back just be kind of a, a framing, if you will. Oh my gosh, a juicy ink pad makes me happy. <laughs> Simple pleasures. Oh, goodness. Okay, okay. Now, what I'm thinking is I'd like to sew around this tag. Give it a little slosh of glue stick in the middle. I'm going to go down a ways so that I can maybe put a topper on that of some sort. Okay, scooch all the stuff. Let's bring Mr. Sewing Machine around. So I'm going to sew around the inside tag, I guess one would say. And granted, that will give you a little less writing space on the back, but not bad. That's cute and then the back you know I mean I I would write a sentence around there and then start writing like that that's what I'd do because I, I love a little something fun to to do okay so I'm thinking like a flower that's what I'm thinking on there as the focal point let's just grab out the flowers see what we see I haven't gotten any fussy cutting done in my new book either. So just behind on the fussy cut. Oh, I had um I had happy mail to show you too, and I forgot. I guess I'll do that tomorrow. Um, oh, what's this one? Oh, isn't that nice? Yep. That's it. That's it. that okay and maybe a little something right across there um my go-to you guys know it's my go-to just gonna make it a little smaller no need to see all that muslin when we can be looking at Carrie's beautiful collage, right? Okay, and then this is the muslin that is on paper so it can go through your printer. And I get this from Three Insistent Dogs on Etsy. I have many times had her link in my description box. I don't know if I'll remember everybody I've talked about in this video. I'm having a hard time getting it started, but there it is. There it is. If I can get a hold of it, I cut my fingernails. <laughs> oh, goodness. There it is. Got it. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little art glitter glue on the back of that. Okay. 
Okay, plop that down right here. Okay, and then at the top, I know in my, I have this little piece of sari silk. I'm just going to put that right there. I'd like those to split apart a little bit, if they would. Grab my Timmy stapler. Cute little tag. Cute little tag, and the base is a paint chip. Oh, that's fun. Okay, how much time do we have? Oh, yay, a whole half an hour. Okay, I had this other really goofy idea, and I'm not sure it's going to work, but we're going to try it, because... Nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. Okay, I just, I'm not quite sure which ones would be good. Okay, so I think I might use these since they're... Yep, okay, we're gonna try this. Okay, so, is this big enough? It is, because we're gonna cut that off. Okay, okay, so. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue this on. Once again, there'll be sewing involved, so it's okay if it doesn't stick completely be nice if it sticks pretty well though okay so there and then this one we could do this with the ones out of the packs too we just have to cut them out of there you know Ooh, I got glue on that ew blue Just get it on my shirt. What the heck? <laughs> okay, and then I'll get a new glue page. Let's do that. Okay, so my thought was to make these. Oh man, that was just about the exact perfect size paper. Okay, um, okay, my thought is to make these into journaling cards. I want my cutter, oh, it's right here, just a sec. Yep, I had my happy, happy mail, well, it's not really happy, well, one is happy mail, one is a purchase had it right on my floor and I got so excited to do this that I just forgot okay I'm going to cut off those top white parts because we don't need them don't need them and we'll cut off this little edge where that's extra okay then how wide is this? This is like a little more than eight. So we'll go a little more than four, like maybe right down there. Okay, and then, ta-da, journaling cards. <laughs> but, oh, shoot, I forgot. No, I think this would be better to, to sew them um, individually anyway. Okay, so my thought was, let me just put away my glue stick and my book so that I can get my sewing machine over here. All right. So then I was thinking I'm going to zigzag down each of these where the cards meet. Just right down the middle.
like this. And then I'm going to go around the edge. Okay, let's do the other one quick like, and then I'll show them to you up close and okay. So what I'm kind of feeling like is with these paint chips, you can kind of do with them what you would do with any other paper. on the left so it makes a neat corner. <laughs> okay. Something to be said for messy stitching too. Oop. That one's not going to be on the corner. That's all right. Okay. So on the back, they look like this, right? Which is fun because you could write here, here, here. I love that. And then there is the front. And so now we can decorate them, right? Yep, that was just my idea was to um, sew them together to either make a journaling card or tag and I really kind of like how they turned out okay so to decorate them what would we like to do I want to keep the stitching so I'd kind of like to okay I have an idea where's my um my German page where did that go did I use it all nope there it is okay so, what I think I'd like to do um, is just going to go right there like that. Do this same thing here. Okay. Do I want to ink them? She asked, rhetorical question. <laughs> of course she does want to ink them. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. Oh man, I am loving this juicy ink pad. I know I've said it a hundred times. It goes so much faster and with so much less elbow grease. <laughs> Might as well do this side while we're at it, right? 
only take a second because, have I said I have a juicy ink pad? Yes, I have. Okay, there we go. Had such a lovely visit with my daughter in Denver that manages the restaurant. Things are going well there. Um, and she and her husband had been living apart. Her, um, she's been with her in-laws and cause her husband works at Amazon warehouse, but he is feeling so good now about the safety measures they have in place that next Friday, they're going to all move back in together, which is awesome. That's been hard through this. Okay. Okay. So we did that. Now I'm thinking a little flower or something up the up the middle there. No, not a butterfly. I think a flower. Oh my goodness, come here you. Catching on this little fun thing there. Okay. Um hmm. So you know me, I'd like to see a pink with that teal, but I feel like I'm low on pink flowers because I use them all the time. These are left over from Jen Bishops. Isn't that perfect? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alrighty then, let's put that there, I think. Do I want, I feel like I want a little something behind it, perhaps. Yeah, this piece that's falling off of my um, my little thing that I keep these on, my little ring. Yep, I like that even better. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Just going to put a bunch of glue here. Okay, and then I better use our glitter glue on this because it's going on to fabric. Ooh, I had another idea for the other one. Let's do this first. Kind of split the difference there in the middle. Well, isn't that cute? Just a little journaling card. Just kind of fun and different. Okay, and then seriously... I am breaking my own rule on my not um, getting any more, you know, not doing any more ephemera than fits in my <laughs> thing. Look at how good the tags these would be, too. I got them when I was doing mixed media because they look like a house to me. But they'd be good tags, too. Okay. Um, 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 um. What I want to do is... I want to put a Tim Holtz person in the middle. Something cute. Like this little girl. She's so cute. Isn't she cute? Yes. And then on, and I like her just, I like her just on the background because it makes her pop out. And then something on the sides. Mm. Like this. This would be fun. On the sides there. Okay, there's my tear ruler. Okay. 
then I don't know. Are we going to be out of time once I get this one done? Probably. That was four pieces of ephemera, I guess, in an hour. But since I didn't know what I was going to do, it kind of made it take me a little longer, didn't it? Whoop. You do have to hold on <laughs> when you're doing the tear roller. Okay, so I want these to be about that wide, right about there. This is some of Vintage Studio 717s too. bunch of sewing to do this afternoon so I got to get my video done first then while it's loading I can just be busy so so sewing oops don't get much ink going in the lid <laughs> Maybe that was my problem with the other one. I was trying to get the ink out of the lid. <laughs> okay. And the thing is, is I don't have to... This one's sewn already. Don't have to sew it yet. So, that's good. Well, Lynette, I hope this gave you a few ideas. I mean, it's basically, I guess, anything you can do with paper, you can do with these paint chips. Okay, little missy, you're going to go in the middle. We know that. I do think I'm going to need something more than just this pink paper on the other sides, but I didn't know what, so... That's why I was inking and thinking. Okay, stick her right there. And these we will glue stick down. Just like that. I got my pink and my teal going. Okay, so would we like to put who knows a word, a butterfly? I don't know. Got my eye on a butterfly here. And I don't know, maybe just having something on one side would be enough even. I don't know. Okay, I like that little butterfly there. Um, this one. Tickets, stamps. This little sticker. Might that little sticker be cute there? I think so. Just doing different things. Trying new things. Might be cute there. Let's see. It's clear, so it's just 
the image you like that okay little missy you get your you get your arms stuck down there little ballerina girl super symmetrical this <laughs> but but it's you know it's different it's kind of fun oh my goodness gracious get the label off of there there gosh sometimes those are so 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 hard to get off okay how we doing okay we've got 10 minutes yet okay so there's that one. There's this one. There's this little tag. And there's this shiny one. Okay, so I was saying that these would make cute tags. These would be pretty. These would make cute tags. These quick and easy... Um, journaling cards right I mean you put something on the back and they're they're just a good shape these are these are bare so these are what is that Home Depot these ones are cool kind of cool just plain these are bare too so they you know there's different shapes and so different things you can all those I would say would be good journaling cards but I think these would be fun, fun tags. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't really want to start something else because I don't think I have time to finish it. But I hope that helped you, Lynette. I hope that that's what you were looking for. And if not, let me do, know and I'll try and do, try and do something different. I'm sort of feeling like this needs a butterfly now that I have a butterfly on that other one. Don't you? I don't know. Oh, look at this with the little birdie and a rose. I don't like it on there. <laughs> Got a bunch of those. Okay, what's this one though? It'd be kind of fun to do a bird. Oh. Oh, this birdies have eggs. I mean, they show better, but I don't. let's see what a butterfly looks like on this one. And I think I might just do a one on one side and then not. Yeah, I like that better. It was just a little bit too plain for me. Let's put it on that side just to be different, and then we'll call that good so hope you guys are are well and happy and craft in a way and I just appreciate you joining me and having ourselves a little craft time so we'll just see you in the next video stay safe and well and have a grateful day bye everybody